In this video I'm going to show you how you can record footage from your IE Geek IP camera straight to your computer's hard drive using the supplied software called HIP2P Client. This um, software should come on a little mini CD um, with the actual camera so once you install this onto your computer what you need to do is open up the program. Obviously before you begin make sure your camera is set up on your Wi-Fi and everything's working correctly. So if you haven't added a camera already, all you have to do is click on the big plus sign. Just click that. Your username should be admin and your password is usually blank. If it's not, it's probably on the back of the camera. So just follow that process first of all. Once you do that, all you then have to do is click on this little gear icon called config. Again, your password is usually blank, so click OK. Once you're on this page, you can click on record management. So if you haven't got a, an SD card inserted into your camera yet and you just want to test it out and record some footage to your hard drive, all you have to do is select your camera here. So select that, you should see a little play icon up here there. Then from this page here, you can choose the hard drive you want to record it to. So usually it's C hard drive, which is the largest. D is usually your recovery hard drive, so you don't want to record it to that. Unfortunately, I can't find a way how you can record it to a certain destination or folder on your PC. So it gets recorded to C slash T record. For some reason, I can't find a way how you can change this, but I'll show you how you can find the yeah, the um, footage afterwards. So select your hard drive. You have some options then here as well, such as the amount of um, gigabytes you want to allocate to the um, recordings until it rewrites over the old data. So you can select anything from 1 to 50 gigabytes, so it's your choice, I'll just select 10 for now. You can also choose your record format, I would choose AVI as the other format is very obscure and only plays with the supplied software. Uh, recording length, again you can choose, it records in certain lengths, so it record one minute then save the file, then another minute save the file and save the file and so on. And, and so that's your basic settings, so after up here you have to enable the plan of record, so what you want to do is just hold the left key down and highlight all these boxes. So once they're all, all green that means it will record from Sunday to Saturday, or from Monday to Sunday, whatever. Once that's all done, click the save, and save in the bottom. So that should be now recording to my computer's hard drive. So to find the recordings, this is the difficult part. So it's located, so you need to open up File Explorer. File Explorer in Windows 10 can be located either on the bottom toolbar or you can click on the Windows icon and you can scroll down to W and I believe it's and the Windows systems, it is File Explorer. So once that's open, you then need to click on your Windows C hard drive. And you should see somewhere there, there it is, T record. So it's basically your PC, Windows, C hard drive. So click T record. Then you can see the date, which is today. The there's your camera. And there's the, your recording. So if I click on the recording, That's the recording that was taken earlier today, so just click on this one, this should be the latest one. You can see that one matches up with the computer's time. So then that's recording constantly to my um, PC. If, for example, you want this to happen automatically every time you um, start your PC, you need to go to other settings. And you need to put a tick in the box here, booting the system automatically run the program, that's kind of like a Chinese translate which is bad, <laughs> but just click that it says registration failed, I don't know what that means, but basically it should um, it should now start and click that one as well, start the software automatically, connect all devices, so once your PC starts it will start recording automatically to your hard drive obviously if you wanted 24 hours recording you'd have to keep your PC on 24 hours a day, but it's your choice. I mean, it's, it, I just use it to experiment. If you haven't got a, an SD card, that's how you do it. So basically, just remember, click this little gear icon up here, then record management, and just, just select all the days, your hard drive, 
and the, the, the record format and you should be good to go. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.